This video will cover the basic VLAN configuration feature on the AP9100, 8100, 8000 and 800 units. This video is not intended to address the VLAN protocol slash terminology and implementation on the network level. Proper VLAN configuration requires that the user has adequate understanding and experience of both the VLAN protocol and of general networking. Note, incorrect VLAN configuration may cause loss of management access to the AP. The AP8100, 8000, and 800 support the following Ethernet modes. Transparent mode is the equivalent to no VLAN support and is the default mode. It is used to connect VLAN aware unaware networks. An interface in transparent mode forwards both tagged and untagged frames. Trunk mode is mainly used to connect a VLAN aware network with another VLAN aware network. An interface in the trunk mode only forwards those tagged frames whose VLAN ID matches with the VLAN ID that is present in the trunk table. All other frames will be dropped. Access mode is configurable under wireless, Ethernet, and management interfaces of the AP device. This mode is used to connect VLAN aware networks with VLAN unaware networks. An access mode tag frames with specified VLAN ID going out of the AP through the interface are tagged and forwarded. The untagged frames coming into the AP device through the interface are tagged with specified access VLAN ID and forwarded. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a fairly uh, basic common type of VLAN scenario for access points. Um, in this particular case, the access point itself, the Ethernet port, is in trunk mode, uh, which means that it is connected to a uh, VLAN aware device. Okay, in this case, the port's going to be tagged with VLANs 2, 3, and 4. Okay, uh, we have uh, internet going out on VLAN 3, we have a server PC that's on VLAN 2. Uh, once again, this is all hypothetical. And then we have three VAPs, uh, SSIDs, that are going to be configured for each individual VLAN. Okay, and uh, we'll go ahead and show um, how to set this up and uh, be able to set up security packages for each uh, each one of them. They could share the security package. That by itself does not matter, but uh, this is, again, a fairly typical type of uh, uh, multi-VAP slash VLAN uh, configuration for uh, the AP9100 uh, and um, 8100 units. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how we would configure uh, that particular diagram, okay? Uh, type of topology. Um, we're going to click on configure, and we're going to go ahead and set our, our VLANs first, okay? VLANs. We're going to enable the VLANs, and then uh, there's our uh, management VLAN ID. Uh, extremely important that uh, this is set correctly. If not, you're going to end up locking yourself out. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and click on Ethernet. Okay, and over here, this is where our VLAN modes are going to be. Okay, transparent access and trunk, as we covered. And uh, in this scenario, we're going to do trunk, um, the most common used here. Um, I already added our uh, three VLANs. So you want to add another one, just go ahead and click add, type in the number, click OK. Here, you could enable, disable, or delete. Okay, and that by itself is it. I click OK. Uh, if you already have a um, management VLAN ID, once again, be very careful because the second you hit commit, if you're not on the proper VLAN ID uh, or proper port, you're going to lose uh, access to the radio management access. Okay, let's go ahead and set up VAP. So in this particular case, we're going to work with interface 2, the 2.4. We're going to click on the VAP, and as you can see here, already created our SSIDs, okay, internal guest and management, those are all hypothetical. Uh, so we click on here, we click on edit, you can see that this is going to be my uh, VLAN ID number two, okay, internal is going to be, uh, make this number three, okay, and then um, this guy over here is going to be VLAN number four okay so uh, here are our VLANs okay now for right now we have basic uh, security it's just whatever security I am using 
Okay, right now we set up for PSK. So I could add multiple securities, like I said, either where PSK, uh, we have two to one X radius. We could go back to our, our specific VAP and we could go ahead and, you know, if we have multiple securities, it'll pop up here. We could go ahead and set this up so we could have multiple securities uh, going for different VAPs. You know, for so for admin, maybe they want to have uh, 802.1x authentication. Uh, maybe just for the internet, uh, the guest, uh, it'll be somewhat uh, maybe simple, maybe just a quick PSK key, um, something like that. But um, after, you, after all of this is configured, go ahead and hit OK and then go ahead and commit once again back to. Um, the management VLAN ID, make sure that uh, it is set properly and uh, you are connected to the proper VLAN ID tag or if it's negative one which is uh, on tag, make sure that you are connected to a port that is part of the native VLAN uh, which is uh, not part of any VLAN um, in your group. To learn more about Proxim Wireless and our solutions, please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim.